The Office, a classic American comedy which takes place in a small chain paper company in Scranton, Pennsylvania. One of their most notable characters is Dwight K. Schrute, played by Rain Wilson. He is quite a person and arguably has most of the funny and comedic moments in the show. Let me just give you a quick idea of who he is. The eyes are the groin of the head. I trained my major blood vessels to retract into my body on command. Also, I can retract my penis up into itself. And just as you have planted your seed in the ground, I am going to plant my seed in you. To keep secrets from my computer. You know what? I wish I could menstruate. Oh, damn it! Damn. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Judges in session, what is the problem here? You put my stuff in jello again. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, oh my god. Why would you... Why? As you can see, Dwight is like no other. Although he is funny, he does many majorly illegal things that in real life would never slide. Let's dive in a little deeper and examine some of the illegal things Dwight does in the office. For the first example, in Season 8, Episode 10, Dwight brings in a porcupine to try and frame Jim. Oh my god! Oh, someone put a porcupine in my drawer! Oh my god. Yeah, I was just sitting here on my desk, and I, I reached into my drawer to grab my toothbrush and, and some tooth powder, and, and, and all, all of a sudden I was attacked by this bloodthirsty, rabid creature. This action would not be feasible, since in the state of Pennsylvania, it is actually illegal to own a porcupine, as stated in the Pennsylvania Administrative Code on Game Commission under Section 4, Part 9 of the Animal Legal Historical Center of PA. Because of this, Dwight just would not be able to own a porcupine legally. For the second example, Dwight is running a bed and breakfast without a proper permit. Agritourism is a lot more than a bed and breakfast. It consists of tourists coming to a farm, showing them around, giving them a bed, giving them breakfast. Does the Department of Health know about this? I am not telling you anything. Permits are pending. Let me tell you why this would not be legal. In Season 4, Episodes 7 and 8, Dwight is running a bed and breakfast without the seemingly proper permits, as we can assume when he says permits are pending. As stated in the Rooming Houses and Bed and Breakfast General Standards, Section 1919, Section B, states that anyone without a permit running a bed and breakfast may be subject to prosecution. Also, Dwight has a bathroom outside in an outhouse-like situation, which would also be illegal under Section 1919.05 which states that none of the flush water closets for use of occupants of the rooming house shall be located in a basement or cellar except by written approval of the health officer. What Dwight is doing is pretty legal and wouldn't fly in real life. For the third example, Dwight and Michael attempt to frame Toby for drugs. Hey, check really? this out. Oh, God. Oh. That is not mine. Oh. I haven't oh. No, 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 no. What no, is going on here? No, that's, I don't know what that is. And it, it, I bet he has nothing not. to do with that. Ah, that's mine. No, Michael, no! Yes, it's mine. Some basil. Salad dressing, I think. Salad dressing? Yeah, it's a caprese salad. It's a little bit of a... Uh... In Season 5, Episode 9, Dwight and Michael try to frame Toby for weed. They purchase, quote-unquote, weed from the workers in the warehouse, which actually just turns out to be caprese salad. An action like this would be considered what the law refers to as a frame-up which is setting someone up or providing false evidence to incriminate someone. In this situation, the police officers simply just walk away. But if this was real life, Dwight and Michael would probably have to go to trial for false evidence and attempted frame-up. These are just a few examples of illegal actions Dwight does. There are many more examples that you would find. Almost in every episode, something illegal happens, with little to no law enforcement involved. Not only do things like this happen in the office, but illegal things happen in TV shows all the time that we don't think twice about. On one hand, this show is a comedy and not meant to be taken seriously. On the other hand, there are things in the show that lead viewers to believe that these actions could actually take place, when in reality, that just isn't true. Next time you are watching something for entertainment purposes, think about if and how a certain action could actually happen in real life.